I see a lot of people who have been here over the years, who have advanced with the competition, who have advanced in their society, and I think it's been a great, great opportunity for all, all of us to work together. Um, there's so many great stories. We used to say in uh, Times Square, there's a story in every individual. I think there's a story in each person who's here in terms of their individual goals, their hopes, their aspirations, and how they're realized at this partly through this moot court competition. So thank you very much, and I hope that you all make it into the next round. <laughs>
Yes, Your Excellency. As so long as it's, the margin of appreciation can be extended to those countries and those nations in the same way that it can to the present circumstances. But as the U.S. Supreme Court in its seminal New York Times and Sullivan case stated, that such a requirement would, would impose a chilling effect on potential critics of public officials. Uh, it's going to be difficult. We're not sure who the opponents are going to be, but nonetheless, we will be very tough. We wish all the best to them, but also, uh, uh, um, we hope to win this one. Yeah, I mean, we lost to, I think, the better team. Credit where credit's due, but we're all still very happy about our performances. We gave it our best, and uh, I think it carried us this far, and we're pretty proud about that. But now we're going to go and uh, hit a million pubs, if that's necessary right now. Uh, I think we did our best. I'm honestly quite relieved that it's over, so I can sleep well tonight, finally. I think my team deserved it. All their hard work and effort has paid off, and I'm very proud that we won after all those months of hard work. Absolutely relieved, but very tired as well. So I think I'm going to just go back and uh, take a nap. <laughs> Thank you. 